How's it going, guys? Dre here, and today I'm changing jobs, ladies and gentlemen, because we're building and repairing PCs in PC Building Simulator. Now, I gotta say, this game's actually looking really impressive. It's actually supported by a lot of major hardware companies, so obviously, that's a good sign. So we're gonna start off a new career today, check it out, and see if it's any good. And yeah, if you guys like it, maybe we'll do some more of it as well. Now, I do, or I, I have built one PC before, so I feel like I'm prepared. I'm totally not gonna screw up anything, and yes, I indeed will. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program on the desktop. You've got mail. Okay, well that sounds simple enough. Let's continue here and check out what we have to our disposal. So yes, as you can see, we have the blinds closed because screw sunlight, and it looks like, yeah, we can actually upgrade. It needs level three, needs level eight. We can upgrade a lot of this unit to, uh, Add more parts to it. This is actually really cool. I like this uh, little place we got here. What is this thing? Is that my PC? Oh, that's pretty cool looking. So yeah, obviously it said check my emails first. So let's go see those and uh, see what's going on here. Thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well and there's no money in the bank account. Oh, great. The rented energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough money for them. I had a job on the go, which should help the rent. See the email below. Remember to use the thermal paste when putting on a CPU. I almost always forget and the PCs overheat. No wonder why it's not doing very well. That's like starter PC building information. So I think you're all set up. It's your company now, so run it how you see fit. I hope you do better than I did. I hope I do too, because I forget to put paste on a, on a CPU. I don't deserve customers. Hi, Tim. My, is, is that me or the other guy? Oh, no, that's definitely the other guy. Well, it's not Tim anymore. I hope you can help me. My computer has been running slower than usual, and I think I might have clicked on something I shouldn't have. Do I have a virus? Definitely. Let's go and... Oh, you can actually teleport over to the PC. Damn, I didn't know I had telepathic abilities. That's exciting. All right, let's pick up this bad boy. I guess the box just randomly vanishes. And bam, here it is. It actually looks like a decent little PC. Uh, PC can boot to OS, OS and remove viruses. That's our objectives. Uh, so yeah, I guess we should start this thing. And we're probably going to do a little bit of tutorial for the first one. Plug the PC in. Okay, cables. We got USB cables. Oh, you actually have to connect each one with the correct component. Obviously, we're going to have to scan for viruses, so we're going to connect everything. Graphics card, USB, keyboard, and PSU. Now you need to put your USB drive into the back of the PC so you can solve virus scanner, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so uh, install. It should be. Yes, there's my USB drive right there. And... Uh, okay, there we go. We can install it in. Power on the PC. Now press P or power button to turn on the PC. Click on the monitor to use the operating system OS of the machine. Okay, so yes, we got a monitor over there. So I guess we can just press P. There we go. It's booting up. Now how do I... How do I get over there? What, what do I have to? Okay, I do have to go over to it. Welcome to Omega OS, the operating system of choice. Click on add slash remove programs to install a virus scanner, and don't forget to restart the PC after it has installed. Okay, well, simple enough. We gotta go in here. Virus scanner right there, installing in record times. Must be an SSD in this thing. Oh, never mind, I lied. It's always at the end, guys. It tricks you at the start and then it slows down. You must restart your computer for changes to take effect. Yeah, let's restart it now. Let's see how fast this operating system is. Damn, that's pretty damn good. All right, virus scan me up, buttercup. Let's do this thing. Oh, man, I, I wish my virus scans were this fast. I like that it's not realistic, though. All right, we have uh, 410 files of infected. This is why you don't go to weird porn sites, my friend. Uh, what was his name? Steve or something? You have removed all the viruses and the PC is ready to be returned to the client. Pick the PC up with the right mouse button and place it on the corridor. Okay, well, simple enough. There's our first job done. Uh, yeah, that was a very easy one. So what do I do? Do I have to unplug it? Well, let's just switch off the PC here and then we're going to pick up the PC. I guess it automatically uh, takes out the cords. All right. So it looks like, yeah, we can have multiple PCs here. Oh, man, we might have busy days. Collect your reward. Great. Now I need to collect your pay. Go to the email. So all we had to do with that one was install virus software. How much did we get paid for? A hundred bucks. Damn, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. And, wow, that was a quick response. Okay, so we're going to discard this. We need to keep this nice and clean. I've already read this. Uh, I had to borrow $15 for feel. I didn't see that at the bottom. Oh, and it's my Uncle Tim. God damn it, Uncle. All right, we'll get rid of that, too. And I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my PC. It's booting faster than it has in years. I didn't realize your uncle had gone away. Looks like business is in good hands, though. Thanks, Gary. You No problem, Gary. Looks like uh, we need help. 
broken graphics card, and more space on my computer, so a hard drive installment. My graphics card has fried itself, and I need it to be replaced with the same one, please. An NVIDIA GTX 970, maybe one of those Sheen ones. Sheen? Sean? Sheen? Sheen. I'm going to say Sheen. I can drop it around the first thing tomorrow morning. All right, well, we'll accept that. Things take time. Customers' PCs will take a day to arrive. So end your current day before going to the workshop door. Ah, uh, should I get some more of these? Buy your components. Go to the shop, the PC, to buy the components you need, and have them delivered at the same time as the client's PC. Now, that is good business. Ah, uh, so we'll probably do that real quick here, but we also should maybe do... Oh, yeah, this one's just remove viruses, so we'll definitely do that. So both of these are in transit, and I guess we'll do this one, too. Uh, I need some more space to back up my files. Could you install a 500 gigabyte hard drive alongside my existing drive? I'll... Be, bring it around first thing. So, thanks, Gemma. All right, so we got three different orders we got to do. And one's just removing viruses. The other two are getting some items. So, we need a GT, a GeForce GTX 970 Gamer, or better, Gamer. Gotta love it. So, let's go to the shop. Let's just search 970. And we have the Gamer or the Gamer XL. Obviously, we want the Gamer. We want to not waste money. So, we're going to add that to cart. And I also need the uh, hard drive. I forget which one, though. So, let's go back to the email real quick to check that out. An easy store, 500 gigabytes SATA with 3 gigabytes a second. Okay, so that should be pretty easy to find. I'm assuming storage. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Can I go back? Oh, God. Okay, let's go back to storage. All right, and there's the big boy right there. The biggest graphics or the biggest hard drive we can buy, which is really, really weird. But okay, 500 gigs is good enough to me. We're going to add that to the cart, and how do I... How do I actually buy these? View card, probably. Uh, use delivery options to choose when's best to receive your components. Often it's better to pay for fast delivery than wait for days to receive things. Makes sense. Uh, next day delivery is 30 bucks. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that next day delivery because we need to do that tomorrow. So my order will arrive tomorrow. As simple as that. We're already in uh, with negative 260 bucks. So hopefully this doesn't go bad. And we're going to end the day. Here you end your day in advance to tomorrow. But make sure you've accepted your jobs and ordered your components. Yes, we've already done that. Okay, and actually, look at this. This is pretty cool. We actually have a calendar that tells us everything. So we have three jobs to do tomorrow. It's going to be a busy day. The customer's PC is here. Pick it up with the right mouse button to take it, yada, yada, yada. Uh, yeah, let's go to work. And your new parts has arrived as well. Put them in your inventory. Okay, so check out this. We're going to take these, and I guess that's in my inventory. Uh, which one do we want to do first? All right, let's do the graphics card one just because it's in the front here and uh, we should be able to do it quickly. Is this my case? Oh my god, it's my case! This is the my exact case for my PC, the NZXT with the cool little front. I love this case, so I'm so glad to see it in the game. Uh, mine's actually white, though. They, they have the black one. All right, so we need to do the graphics card. So uh, let's work on this PC and... Wow, that's a big fan. All right, well, let's slide this panel open and actually get into a PC for once. Now, this should be ready to go. Do I have to do it more? Oh, okay. I thought once it turned orange, it was good. I guess not. So there we go. Oh, my God. This is actually really, really cool. So we're going to take out this and uh, put in a new one. We have the broken one. We can sell for 8 bucks. We're going to sell that. And my new GTX 970 can go in there. There we go. Install. Oh, this isn't too bad. This is actually... This is going to be really informative for people who want to learn how to install PCs. Because it's not too hard to do in this game. It kind of holds your hand as you're doing it. Which is obviously uh, nice if you're trying to learn. Oh, God. I did that wrong. All right. Install that. There we go. It's just hard to tell when it's fully screwed in. But there we go. Now it's done. And the final thing we need to do is install these cables so we can see if this thing boots to OS. Make sure everything's fine with the graphics card installation. Uh, should be totally good. So there we go. Oh, I have to power that on. That's right. So power. Oh, the logo even lights up. That's great. Attention to detail. And nice backdrop, my friend. Uh, I guess that's all we had to do, right? It was just power it up. We didn't have to check it or anything. Uh, incomplete case. So that's all we got to do. So we'll do the cables now. All right, next one, we need to remove viruses and clean out the dust. Oh, yeah, that's a dusty one <laughs> if I've ever seen one. Oh, my God. Why have you not cleaned this beautiful case out? Uh, okay, B PC can boot to OS, remove viruses, and clean out dust. Simple enough. Uh, cleaning a PC, press the install button to get the... Yeah, I already saw it in there, so I know how to do that one. Uh, that's going to be fun to clean it out. All right, this one's got four screws on it, and there goes the whole plate. So let's go to install. Should I do the cleaning first? I kind of want to just try it, so blow out dust. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, whoa! I was hoping there'd be a huge dust cloud everywhere. I, I guess we can't get that lucky. But you can see I am definitely dusting it out. So that's good. Looks like new once again. Can I do the top? Yeah, you know what? Let's definitely get that top done. Let, let, let's make our customers happy. We're a struggling business and we need to make the customers happy. Oh, I gotta do each plate? Are you serious? All right, there we go. We're all green and ready to go. It is a clean PC now. Uh, so now we just gotta remove the viruses. Install once again, USB drive. There we go. We've seen how this works before. Power it on. And let's see how much viruses this one has. Oh my god, why is it so slow at the end? Yes, we'll restart the PC. And everyone's using Omega system now. Virus scanner, start scanning. Last one had like 400. This one, oh, this one's even worse. 600, there we go. PC's ready to go. All clean for you. Now we just gotta complete the case, and I think we're pretty much done. All right, another job. Some more money in the bank. Uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Let's take this back. And the final one is the hard drive. This is gonna be the hard one. So all we have to do is install that hard drive, so we'll do that real quick here. First of all, take off the screws. Another NZXT case. It must be a popular case. Install, okay, so we don't have to get rid of the other one. We just have to install a new one. Uh, so there we go, and we will put it, oh. Okay, we gotta take out the plate first. Oh, wait, do we, what? I'm very confused right now. In Okay, I, I was probably supposed to take off the back, but, oh yeah, it's actually not letting me now. So I guess, oh my God, what? Okay, put that back in. I, I'm not supposed to be able to do that before I take off the back, probably. All right, install that. There we go. That's all we had to do. We don't have to connect. Oh, I'm assuming we have to connect it. And we might have to install the cords. Yes, the cables. Okay. Okay, so now we do the cables. I forgot you had to press cables, not install something for the cable management. Oh, we actually have to go to the motherboard. Uh, okay. So there we go. It looks like it's all good. Now we just have the incomplete case and PC can boot to OS. So obviously we'll install these cables real quick. Uh, make sure it can boot to OS. Should be good though. We installed the hard drive. We don't have to do, well, I mean, technically you're supposed to do some more things. But I don't know how crazy this game is, so we'll see how realistic it is for a hard drive installation. Oh, yeah, powered on. Via over here. There we go. Another NZXT. And it looks like it's powered on. It's working, I'm assuming, anyways. Oh, it looks like, yeah, all I can do is shut down. And finally, the back panel as well, which we will get done really, really quickly here. So not too bad. Three PCs done in one day. I'll take it, man. And we'll see how much money we made because I definitely need some money. Oh, looks like they're... I didn't even realize they're all packaged up when we dropped them. All right. Let's go to the emails and see what's going on right now. We should have all this done. Uh, collect the money. Collect the money. And collect the money. There we go. 703 bucks in the bank now. Not too bad. And look at all these emails coming in. All right, so we got to clean this up. There we go. What's this Megacorp banking? Account overdrawn. Yes, I know. My overdraft limit is a thousand bucks. Well, we didn't get that close, but uh, yeah, that's sh that could be a little scary. Congratulations, you reached level two. You unlocked case fans, Intel Core processors, auto connection tool. Ooh, auto connection tool, and a bunch of other things, as you can see. So it seems like as we level up, this game is going to get more and more complex. Uh, stuff for my daughter's new PC. Upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM. That's a boring thing to do, but I guess I'll do it because it's 320 freaking dollars to, do, to put some RAM sticks in? All right, well, nothing wrong with that. Hot and broken PC. Oh, this could be an interesting one. Replace air cooler, clean out air dust. Okay, so we gotta get an air cooler and clean out air dust. And we got another virus issue. So yes, we're gonna get rid of those as well. So I don't know if I can even buy because it's not saying which air cooler. I don't know if I can buy that and RAM, well, I'll see what's in the shop. See, because I'm not sure which socket I'll need to use, and there's a bunch of different socket types that uh, we might waste money and buy the wrong cooler. And maybe we can even, like, upgrade a fan or something. Well, then no, that's just uh, an actual case fan, so... Uh, but yeah, maybe we can... No, it doesn't look like you can buy, like, air cooler fans. Because we don't know what's wrong with it. Now, in terms of memory, I don't think it will really matter. They just want 16 gigs of RAM. So what would be the best way to do that? I don't know how many slots the PC has. If it has, well, they usually have four. So it actually looks like it's cheaper to get the eight gig sticks though. $100 as compared to $60 for the four gigs. Uh, we got Titan sticks over here for 80. They're not asking for any special ones. So we're just gonna buy two of these and that should be safe. Worst case, we'll have them in storage and we can 
use them later. But yeah, I'm not really sure about that fan, so we're gonna wait for the PC to come here and uh, decide what we want to do for that. Uh, but we'll end the day. Uh, looks like, yeah, we got another three jobs to do. We have one week until we gotta pay our utility bill, which, how much is that? Did we know? We have no idea. All right, well, that's a lot of boxes for RAM sticks, but thank you for those. And which one do we want to do? I guess we'll do the RAM one first to see if this works. Oh, yeah, that's a cool PC case. Look at all these gamers coming to me. I, th I thought it'd be a lot of boring PCs, but these are actually really cool to see. Uh, okay, so we need to upgrade the RAM. This should be a quick job. All right, remove that. And yes, it's got one RAM stick in it, so I guess I could just take out this one and sell it. So we'll pop that clip. Pop that clip, pull it out, and let's go to install, and hopefully these ones work. It should definitely work. There's one 8 gig stick, and yes, it totally fits in there, so no big deal. I might, oh, it looks like, wait, no, I'm so confused. Okay, there we go, close it. Oh, it's automatically closed. Okay, that's attention to detail. Usually when you smack those things back in, they close automatically. Uh, so that's good, we got that one, and we'll do one more right here. Ah, it's quite realistic. There we go, and these should be, yes, now closed. All right, so that is that done. Please, we just gotta boot it up. So power, oh, that's right, we gotta install cords. Always forget to do that. I could definitely use that cord upgrade, though. I'm curious to see how much that is. So there we go, it should power up now. Ooh, we got red lighting in this one. And looks like everything's good, so this one should be done. All right, another day, another dollar. There we go, starting off today strong. That one's fixed, and those memory sticks worked. Uh, what's this one? PC can boot to OS, replace air cooler, and clean out dust. Well, that's what the one we're gonna have to do last, because I don't have that air cooler yet, so I think we're gonna waste a day on that one, but that's fine. So this one, it's a job we've already seen. I'll just quickly do it and uh, move on. All right, and that was a quick fix, of course. Virus scans are always the easy ones. This one's gonna be the fun one, because we gotta figure out which slot this thing has and what cooler to buy. My God, what have you done to this poor thing? Uh, okay, that's the wrong one. We wanna get the front one off. There we go, remove, remove. We obviously gotta clean it out, too. But, uh, looks like, okay. So it's a Montoni Thermal, one, Mortoni Thermal 100. All right, with that in mind, we should be able to get this in here, so let's go to the shop. Uh, coolers, 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 where is it? Can I not see it? There we go. Mortoni Thermal 100, there it is right there, 10 bucks. We're gonna add that to the cart. Why is it 40 bucks now? Wait, what? Oh, that's because of the next working day. My God, a $10 part with a $30 shipping charge. Same day delivery, that'd be kinda, well, you know what? I don't think it's gonna be a bad thing if we even put three to five days on. They might need to wait a bit for this one. I don't wanna get ripped off, so let's just let this one, you know, kinda muster here, and uh, we'll do everything that we can right now, and we'll do the rest later, so let's just clean this out. God, you got more dust than computer in here. This thing is ridiculous. Do I have to uh, uh, clean out these things too, which I have to open it up. Good thing this is my PC. I know how everything works. Actually, I think this one's a slightly different model, but uh, similar enough. Well, it looks like I did all the dust, so I think I do have to uh, actually get pretty crazy here. So I'm going to remove the front plate and remove case. Oh, actually, I could. Well, that's the thing I wanted to clean. Let's remove the back plate, though, and see if there's any dust back here. Uh, we are dust hunting right now. And it looks like it's actually pretty damn clean, so. Oh, actually, the bottom uh, SSD plates are a little bit bad, so that's probably the only thing I needed to do. Let's see. There we go. Nope, still we have to clean out the dust. So we probably, oh, looks like the dust filter is clean because we took it off, and yes, now all the dust is done. So that was actually pretty cool that we, we pulled out the dust filter and obviously cleaned it as we were doing that. And only other thing we can do on this is remove the actual air cooler, so we're gonna do that, and uh, now we just have to wait, so I guess we'll just, uh, can I just take this? Yes, I can, and have the other things in storage. We'll put this down here for waiting, and uh, yeah, I guess we gotta end our day. Before we do that, though, obviously gotta go to the emails, collect what we earned. $200 for removing viruses, and uh, $320 for doing the RAM. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Missing thermal paste. Great. Hey, I bought a PC from you six months ago from Tim, and it's been overheating whenever I try to do anything. Oh god, Tim. Uh, I took a look under the CPU, and there's no thermal paste! What kind of Mickey Mouse business are you running? I would be just like you. I demand that you fix this for free and test the PC before you send it back. You know what? He was a past customer, 
And uh, I want to keep him as a customer, so we're going to accept that and uh, fix that up for him. This guy looks like he's having a PSU issue. He's installed too many things for his power supply, so we need to upgrade to a 600 or better, and uh, we need to run 3D Mark to see if it can handle it. Uh, I like that 3D Mark is actually in this game. This is crazy to me that uh, this game has this many things that real-world PC builders use. Uh, ha hello, mate. I need your help. I borrowed my mom's PC, and I think I clicked something. Oh, my God. Another remove virus one. Uh, wait, did I already... Oh, I, that's what I already did. Okay, so we're going to discard that. So, yeah, all we have right now is two more coming in. We need to apply thermal paste and get the Sheen Power King 600 or better. So, with that in mind... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's go back to the store. And... Oh, you can have multiple tabs. Oh, my God! I love this game! And we need a 600 or better. It looks like the 600 is the best thing we can get. So, we're going to buy that thing for 80 buckaronis and... Uh, yeah, we'll deliver next day delivery so we can get that one done and get a new job right away. All right, that was the only item we needed, though. We're still waiting on parts for that. I should have got the one-day delivery, probably, but we're going to end that day, and uh, today we have two more jobs to do, so there we go. And we got that power supply for the one, and that's the one we're waiting on, so we'll just grab whatever this one is, and we'll figure it out when we get there. Oh, we got a little square one. This is really, really cool. Oh, that's a little PC. That's adorable. All right, so this is the power supply install. This is going to be fun. That's one of the harder things to install. So we're going to have to do basically all the cable management. Whoa, look at this. Look at this side plate. This is exciting. I like this game because I learn about different PC cases. And I, I put the PC on the table wrong. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that being said, it probably put it that way because uh, we're going to be mostly working on that side. So it probably just knows what I want to do. I just want to see inside here. Oh my god, that thing is so cool looking. All right, so we're going to have to do a lot of cord management right now. We have to unplug everything, obviously. It looks like this is a rather simple PC, though, so it shouldn't be too bad. What am I missing? Oh, the uh, the power uh, button plug. So there we go. We can remove the PSU now, though, and uh, see how much this one's worth, because hopefully it's worth quite a bit. This is a really weird design. Like, how am I unscrewing this? I guess there is some room underneath there to unscrew it. But I would flip this PC on its side if I was actually doing it. But there we go. That's done. And we're going to install the other one. So, power supplies. What did he have in here? Oh, yeah, 250. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a little bit weak, my friend. So, there we go. We got 600 watts now for you to enjoy. All right, time for the cable management. That's the fun part. So, we're going to connect that to that. Oh, this is really easy because it shows you exactly where everything needs to go. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the things on the table. We don't need that just yet. There we go. Connect that. Connect the hard drive, of course. And what do we got over here? Something or another. Oh, that's actually, again, installing. We need to boot the operating system anyways. So is that all of them? All right, so let's install these cords. I think that's all of them. This should be able to at least run right now. Oh, man, I really want to get this stupid cord upgrade. And what am I missing? Oh, am I missing? Yes. Okay, I forgot about this little guy up here for the power button. Now we should be good, though. All right, so power this puppy on. Everything's spinning. That's good. PC can indeed boot to operating system, so we got to run 3D Mark. Uh, oh, my God. Are we actually going to see it? That would be great. Uh, oh, my God. Okay, it's actually a very simplistic version. So if you don't know what 3D Mark is, it basically tests the graphical intensity of your computer. It runs through crazy graphics and uh, gives you information on how your PC is doing with them. Uh, so that's exactly what we're doing right now. And it's actually very similar... At least I've never seen this 3D Mark version, but this might be actually one. Oh, man, I'm so geeking out right now. I guess we just gotta just let this thing go. Uh, can we do anything else while we're waiting for that? Doesn't really look like we got much to do. This is where we would benefit from buying another uh, PC table, but we still have to level up to get those. Uh, this is exciting, though. I really like this game because it's so well done. Uh, okay, we're still waiting on this. We're getting an FPS of 25. That's pretty bad, but obviously not everybody's a gamer. Gotta love how the virus scan was, like, very quick, but the actual 3D mark took, like, a good two minutes. So, how'd we do? We got a 3,844, 3, a graphics score of 3,717, and a CPU score of 4,773. Not bad, not bad at all. At least it works, and that should be what he wanted. So I think he will be very happy with what we did here. That was fun. I really liked installing the power supply. My favorite one yet. 
All right, this shouldn't be too bad, though. We just got to take out the processor, put some paste on it, and slap her back in. We don't got to change anything or anything. I guess this is a long process, though. We got to remove the cooler and everything. Uh, so it looks like a stock cooler on this one. And we got a Ryzen. All right, pop that thing out, and let's throw some paste on it. Oh, actually, we didn't even need to pop it out. We just put the paste on the top. Never put the paste on the bottom, guys. That's a big no-no. All right, so we're going to install tools and thermal paste put that on there there we go i got a little drop of it that's all you need you don't need to go crazy and uh yeah i guess we're done that was that was really really easy of course don't forget to connect the air cooler and finally i'm just installing my cords so we have to do another 3d mark and we got to make sure this thing can power up so power it up we got a gigabyte in this bad boy there we go oh my god this person must be a doctor all right, add or remove programs. At oh, we gotta insert the USB. Okay, this one doesn't have 3D Mark on it, so I think the other one did because I don't remember putting in my USB stick, but I could be wrong on that one. So there we go, and now we should be able to yes, go in here and wait. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. You know what? I kind of want to install 3D Mark on my PC because I'm just kind of curious to see how good mine is because well. I am a PC builder after all. This one's doing a stable. Actually, it's getting better now. 21 FPS, so probably similar to the last one. Uh, restart now. Oh, I didn't mean... No, I, I want to restart it. Uh, can I actually... I'll just have to restart manually. Uh, shut down. Let's see if this actually works going via shutdown. And then power on computer to interact. How, do, how the hell do I power it on now? P? Uh-oh. There we go. I powered it on and... I thought my PC was this thing. It was like a weird design, but no, my, my I have a little PC down there, so I doubt mine's any good. But there we go. We should be able to 3D mark it now, and oh yeah, it's even worse than the clients. All right, let's see how the th clients did. We got 3,000 and a CPU score of 2.6, so definitely worse than the last one. But hey, that doesn't matter. We just had to do it to make sure everything was stable, and uh, now we're good to go. Just got to install the case again. Wham, bam, another day done and more money in the bank. I'm making this a successful business, man. Uh, unfortunately, I did screw up this one, though, because we're still waiting on that. It's going to probably take a couple more days. How's my 3D Mark doing? Well... Doesn't look too bad. And my score, my god, I have to upgrade. Can I upgrade my PC? Can I, oh, I can. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. We could definitely upgrade our PC later when we start getting some more money in the bank because my PC is a piece of junk. All right, well, let's boot this thing back up, finish our jobs, and call it another day. So we can collect that. There we go. We're over a thousand bucks already, guys. And getting some more stuff in now, of course. We're going to collect this one, too, which we got no money for, but we should have made somebody happy. Uh, let's actually see what he says. Thanks for fixing my PC since you added the thermal piece. It's running nicely. How the frick do you know what's over in my corner right now? I didn't realize business is under new ownership. A good thing, too, I think. I've been impressed with your timely fixing of this issue, so I'm happy to give you another chance. I shall recommend you to anyone that needs work doing. Thanks, DR Waterman. I do appreciate it. And it looks like we got to upgrade some RAM on the next one. That's all we had today, so we're going to accept that. And we're going to have a rather rough day tomorrow. But uh, run 3D Mark upgrade to 4 gigs of RAM. So let's go to the shop, get some 4 gigs of RAM sticks. Uh, or at least one of them. Uh, that's 8 gigs. That's not good. 4 gigs! There we go. Add to cart and view cart and buy now. There we go. My order will arrive tomorrow. So that's it, guys. Uh, we did a couple days of being a PC repairman. Let me know what you guys think of this, because I think this is a damn good simulator. It's nice to see one that goes into detail and actually does things that, uh, well, real-world PC builders would use. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.